hello there guys so today I'm going to share with you my uh, MathCAD design calculation worksheet using uh, MathCAD application so this this example I'm going to share with you is a design I made uh, maybe like five years ago for the design of floor beams so this is uh, the print preview of this design worksheet okay so this is pretty much comprehensive uh, design worksheet approach you will have to input first your beam geometries the preliminary sizes of your of your beam the height of the beam the width of the beam and the concrete cover you have this you have here also the concrete and reinforcement properties yield strength of steel uh, the compressive strength of concrete strength of ties strength reduction factor for moment and strength reduction factor for shear now the design data I'm going to input here are from the result of the analysis from a design software say for example STAD so after you analyze and design run the analysis and design on your software so you get the envelope for the ultimate moment ultimate shear and torsion and you get to input that here for the moment uh, so that you can design the top bars and the bottom bars you need to input the moment at the supports as well as the moment at the mid span for the support there is a positive moment as well as the negative moment so that would indicate uh, your design for bottom bars and for your top bars that is also true with the mid span so this is the design approach I made this is uh, the design approach commonly used in our reinforced concrete design textbooks so what I got here the approach is you just simply take or input at the preliminary diameter of your rebars as well as the number of rebars So I hide something here. So these are the common calculation you usually see in your textbooks when computing these steel ratios row. So to save space, I just hide that there. So here, for the spacing of the or the arrangement of your rebars, I also hide that. So then this the approach is to see to it that your beam is under singly reinforced design so this is pretty much a singly reinforced design approach otherwise if it is it, if it says here that uh, your beam is doubly reinforced what I usually do is I go back here for my preliminary beam geometries and then change these sizes adjust sizes into bigger sizes so I see to it that this beam here is singly reinforced and the steel ratio I'm using I'm utilizing for the design is not strictly what I got from my cal calculation here but for this demonstration what I got here for this uh, steel ratio this way what I input here but 
sometimes if you are uh, thinking for economy I can uh, adjust this say I can adjust that to 0 0.1 0 0.015 as long as it is not uh, beyond the threshold of this limitation here it is not less than the minimum value for rho and the max and it is not beyond the value for rho max if it says okay uh, you're, you're still good to go and it says here for your tension steel it is good and the utilization ratio is approaching unity that means uh, your design is in optimum uh, in optimum state but commonly usually the the value that come up here for the steel ratio raw is what I usually input here in UI raw use so that's for the top bars so that is also the approach in calculating the bottom bars and as well as for the mid span bottom bars and mid span top bars now let us proceed here down for the design of stirrups so the preliminary size or rebar size I used is 10 millimeters that is the common uh, size for the stirrups and the comprehensive uh, calculation down here it says uh, for the check of section adequacy it says here proceed that means the size of your beam is within the threshold of the code and the result is down here for the spacing of stirrups near the support it says here 81 and the spacing of stirrups at mid span it says here 162 and next I also check the design for torsion I got some calculation there but I up to hide that to save space so this is what you need the torsion design if it is required it will say required but if it is negligible uh, you may not need to use that for the design but if it says it required I see to it I consider this uh, diameter and number of longitudinal torsional reinforcement so in this case if I use 16 the number of 16 milli diameter rebar for torsional reinforcement I need 2 but if I say like uh, 12 it will give me 3 so for symmetry let us use 16 and yeah that's pretty much it and down here this is the detail arrange arrangement for the uh, section but this needs uh, updating I manually update this using uh, AutoCAD drawing object I can edit that there in the AutoCAD if I click this edit AutoCAD drawing object uh, you will be redirected to AutoCAD drawing yep like that there and then you can just uh, edit this and then save and it will uh, go there yeah what I do is just I will uh, zoom that all and then click save and then that's it and then I just the size to fit the sheet like that yep that is uh, if I already done editing that 
yeah so that's that's how I design design floor beams using this matcad worksheet that's it for now and uh, see you next time